basically, when you have foreigners telling stories about my culture, my home, uh, my people, more often than not, and despite their best efforts, they don't get it quite right. And so on, this was the basis for my project. And so as I was doing my research, I looked at 30 movie trailers spanning as early as 1939 to 2016. And all of these movies uh, came from a wide genre of movies. Really, we saw a lot of evidence of stereotypes. Almost every movie had at least one stereotype. And this, I looked at stereotypes for both um, Native Hawaiians as well as Hawaii as a place. And so I think one of the best examples I can give you of stereotyping is in the film Fifty First Dates. If you aren't familiar with the film, um, it's a com kind of a romantic comedy with Adam Sandler. And in the film, Adam Sandler has a best friend named Hula. He's a Hawaiian guy. Um, and he portrays so many offensive stereotypes about Hawaiians. He's smoking weed or kakalolo all the time. He, or acts like he's high all the time. He's also uneducated, lazy, married to an obese Hawaiian woman who's a stereotype in and of itself. Um, and all these offense, all of these stereotypes, I find uh, made more offensive by the fact that he's played by white comedian Rob Schneider. Um, and in the film, he looks quite tan as well. So I'm kind of wondering if there's some evidence of like brown face in that as well. Um, but this kind of leads me into the idea that whitewashing isn't a new phenomenon. It's been a part of cinema ever since cinema has existed, ever since it came to the islands. And you can see that even in today. 